Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen how to run our failed test cases through the file which is generated through test ng. Okay, so here is the file test ng fail.xml. And as we have talked this before, that let's say my requirement is as soon as my test get failed, I need to rerun this test cases even without waiting for these reports. So how would I do that? This can be done through an interface called retry analyzer. So what we need to do for that, I have to do a right click, click on new and class. All right. Now I have to create a new class so I can give any name here. So I can just give, I'm just giving my retry analyzer. Okay. And finish. And in this class, I will implement the interface called I retry analyzer. All right, I will save it. Okay, so I have to import it. All right, and it will say to add the unimplemented method. So I will click on that. All right. If you see now this class is implementing the I retry analyzer interface and here I am getting one method which I need to override okay so here we can give certain uh, logic so that I can go ahead and rerun my test cases okay so if you see here in my class I am failing this test cases deliberately okay what I want that if this test case get failed I want to give a one chance or maybe a two chance of this test case to rerun again. Okay, because it might possible the first time there was something not working correctly at the system level. Maybe the application is down, maybe some other issue, maybe the DB is down. So that's the reason this test case get failed. But before calling it fail and showing it into the report, I want to give one more chance to this test so that it can run at the same time, even before run generating the failed report. Okay, so that can be done through this retry analyzer interface and here I can give a logic like here like I can give int counter equal to zero. Okay, so here I have given a counter under retry analyzer interface and then I can give int retry limit equal to two. Okay, I want that uh, my counter to retry till twice. Okay, and here what I can give, I can give if condition and I can give till if my counter is less than retry limit. All right, so what you need to do first, it need to increment the counter. All right, and then it will return true. Okay, so it will return true for that. So this is my logic which I have written. Okay, this is the if condition and this is my else condition. Okay, so here I can give else condition. All right, else return false. So let me give that into bracket also. All right, and this is my method get over and my class get over. So what I'm doing here now, so as soon as my test case get failed, it will hit to this retry method. It will see if the counter is less than two. So the first time zero is less than two, it will go here. It will make the counter as one and return true and it will rerun the test case. Second time it will see as one is less than two because the counter is increased already. So yes, it will go ahead and it will again increase the counter, make it counter equal to two and return true. Third time, if it get failed, it will again go here and it will see that counter is less than retry limit, but two is not less than two. So it will come out and it will return false and this loop get over and this, you know, will not run for the third time if it get failed. So this is the logic of the retry analyzer. And now what I can do, is there's two ways through which I can use this retry analyzer. Either I can give it at the test level or either I can give it at the suit level. So if I want to give it the test level, I can just put a bracket here and control space 
retro analyzer and here at the retro analyzer i have to give my complete path of this retro analyzer so that would be my pack dot okay so i have to give my package name so it would be my pack dot and then i can give the name of that okay so the name is my retro analyzer all right so this is one way through which i can run my retry analyzer all right and the same thing i can do here in the second method so wherever i want to retry i can give this at the method level okay now what we will do we will try to run this smoke.xml file so i'm directly doing a right click clicking on run as and i'm clicking on test ng suit okay so it will go ahead and run these so if you see that it has run four test cases so first it has run method one then it has run method two and once it get failed it has again run method two and again run method two one more time so it has you know used it twice so once it get failed it has run that method twice it does not get failed so it has not run that method okay so this is one way through which we can use the retry analyzer but let's assume that there are hundred of test cases in your class so it will not be possible for you to go ahead and copy this everywhere on all the method so what we can do for these kind of situation there is one more way through which i can give my retry analyzer at the suit level okay so to give it at the suit level there is a in, there is something which we can give on test ng let me show you let me just remove this first okay so let me show you the document of test ng in test ng uh, the one of the topics test ng listeners which i have take took before in this we have talked about i test listeners before okay there's one more listener called i annotation transformer so we have to use this listener here okay so for that what i can do i can create another class new class and i can give that as my annotation transformer all right all right so i have given this and now i am implementing i annotation transformer interface so it would be implements i annotation transformer this one all right so i am implementing that and now i need to add the unimplemented method so this is a method of the i annotation transfer okay and here what i need to give i can just type see this is uh, i annotation argument zero class argument one constructor argument through and method argument three okay so i have to give this i annotation which is for the argument zero okay so i can give here arg zero dot so the different methods given for the i test annotation okay i can give here set retry analyzer so i have to set the retry analyzer in a class form all right so what i need to give i can just type the class the class of this my retry analyzer because this my retry analyzer java will be converted to my retry analyzer once we compile it right so i need to give this name here so i will say my retry analyzer dot class okay so that's it this is only i need to give in my annotation transfer uh, uh my annotation transfer interface okay now the other thing which i need to make changes into the smoke.xml all right so you know under the xml file for any listener i need to give i have to put a listener tag so i have explained about the listener in my previous video so if you have not seen that you can always refer that under the test ng playlist 
you will get many videos for the listeners so i am giving listener here so let me just give it okay so this is the listener tag and inside that i can give listener okay, like this and here i need to give a class name okay so the class name would be my package name and my transformer name so this is my package that is my pack and this is my transformer so i will do a control c here and i can give here my transformer and i can just copy this package name okay so what i'm doing right now let me just show you again so i have created a listener i'm calling a listener from my suit which is smoke.xml i have given the class name as package name dot my annotation transfer transformer and this this uh, uh, this listener which is my annotation transformer it is calling my retry analyzer dot class okay my retry analyzer dot class has a logic which can give a chance to a test case to at least run twice so now we will try to run this and if you see that i have already removed the test uh, you know the test condition which were there so i can just give a simple test condition here okay and the rate test okay i have removed the other things which i have given before all right now let's run that again run test ng suit okay so if you see again it has run the second one two times if i want it to be run thrice i can just change the number here okay because now it's at the suit level okay so if anything is getting you know uh, getting failed let's see this is true i am making this as true okay and even if i have more than one test case okay i will call it method three okay and i'm making it as false here so even if i have 100 of the test cases now my listener will work for all so smoke right click run right run configuration i can do through that or i can directly do a run and test ng suit so this will also work for me so okay so wait let me just check okay so number is incorrect here let me run again run test ng test run test ng suit i need to run the suit not the test ng test okay so now you will see method one get passed method two get also passed but method two, three get failed and after it get failed it has given three chances to method three because we have given the counter three here okay so this is the way through which you can just make uh, you know my retriser analyzer and create my annotation transformer and you can call this listener from the suit.xml so that this listener is applicable to the entire suit and this is another way through which you can run your failed test cases then and there when your test cases get failed so most of the project we use i retry analyzer uh, when some test cases are getting failed all right so thank you for watching this video and if you like the video please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you